Hello, Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this uh, short video, we're going to cover the new scanned packed orders feature, the one scan and done. In this example, we're going to cover the condition where you have multiple sublocations in your warehouse. You don't just have one single one. So this is for you uh, accounts that have um, hundreds or multiple sublocations, like I say A1, A2, A3. You don't just have M0, all right? So this is a uh, this is for you. So remember, you've got to use, because you've subdivided your warehouse into multiple locations here, you have to do something before you can pack. You've got to remove all these items out of these specific sublocations and transfer them to a centralized packing location. All right? But this is using the new feature. So you could do this before, but now we've got this uh, scan packed. So let's cover this real quick. All right, so we'll just switch over here to Finale, familiar screen. So let's take a look at the example. This warehouse has uh, three items in it, and you notice that they're located in A1 and A2 and A3. That's where the stock is located. So in order for us to pack orders, we just can't simply say, hey, pack it. We have to pull the item out of you know each of their individual locations, and then we can pack them. So it's a pick and pack operation. All right, so. Let's uh, look at the example. So we've got, let's say, these three orders called Scan Pack 1, Scan Pack 2, Scan Pack 3 over here in ShipStation. Now, traditionally, you guys were going to uh, highlight these all three orders. You would go over here and say, Get me some packing slips. You're going to um, get your packing slips. We teach you how to put that order ID barcode up there, okay? Um, put it either at the top or the bottom of your of your pick slips. So you would want to make one trip on the warehouse for all three of these. So we're going to do a pick and pack, all right? You're not going to make individual trips. So let's watch how you do that. You guys would print those sheets, all right? And then you would uh, get your handy-dandy scanner out here. So let's pull our scanner up. Now let's sync, make sure that we've got the latest uh, orders down from uh, ShipStation. So I'm going to make sure that the, my scanner is up to date. Always do that before you start an operation. So let's sync this up. And while I get these transactions down, let's ready to rock and roll, all right? So we're going we're gonna to do a... Uh, a batch pack here. All right, so we're going to do pick, we're going to do pick and pack, and then we're going to do the picking part. All right, so let's just go in there and let's go uh, get three orders at a time. All right, so I'm going to scan the first one, and then I'm going to scan the second one, and then I'm going to scan the third order. So I got three orders in my scanner. So we're going to make one trip for three. We're going to say menu, start picking. All right, so of course it's going to walk us through each each uh, each item that are on all three orders and tell us what to do and where to go. So it's telling us, hey, that item is at A1. The scanner's at A1. So it just says, hey, get three of item uh, number two. So I'm going to go ahead and pick three of those real quick, and it tells me, hey, keep on going. I'm filling up my cart. All right, scanner says, hey, you're done with that. And it tells me, hey, you need to get yourself moving um, towards A2. All right, so we'll go there. All right, now it tells me, hey, make sure you've uh, switched to the A2 sublocation in the warehouse. So I'm going to scan that sublocation because I just walked over there. I got it. All right, let's go on. So let's get item number one. All right, so I get item number one. Got to get another one. All right, I'm all done with item number one. So it tells me, hey, why don't you go on to to A3 for the next pick. So I'm going to go ahead and go there, scan that sublocation, make sure I'm keeping my inventory accurate in all locations in the warehouse. And it tells me, oh, all I need to do is get one of item number three. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So as I get that one item, I'm done. And it also tells me, hey, that was the last pick. So, hey, I just went through the warehouse and, and picked three orders all at once. Now I'm going to say complete. Now it asks me, where are you going to take all those items so that you can go pack them with one scan? All right, so we're going to just click on the list here. And I've got a, a specific packing sublocation. So I'm going to say, hey, why don't you go put them in the pack? So it says, OK. Now what would I do? Well, you take that cart, push it over to the packing center. All right, and then they would go through the packing process. Now, before, you had to scan an order. Then you had to scan the items into the order, all just to pack it, no more. All right, so you're going to go back to, to pick. We're going to go back to pick and pack. 
we're going to go back to packing now. And we're not going to use that pack item by item. We're going to use this scan packed orders. All right, now we've got two ways to do this. One is a visual way, and the other one is just scan the order ID and get get going. All right. Now the visual one is the one I'm going to show you first. It's just scan the order. It's going to give you a confirmation of what you should have put in the box. Then you just have to hit enter. All right. It's really convenient. All right. Now then there's an even quicker way, which is just scan the order ID. All right. But let's go through the visual first. So we know we have um, those three orders. So all I got to do is scan one of them. Doesn't matter which one. And it tells me, hey, yeah, you did successfully uh, pick enough and transfer enough to the packing location to fulfill those two items in this order. So all I do is say pack. Grab the next one. All right, I'm kind of that one. Yep, I'm good. Pack. I'm going to grab the last one. And I'm good there too. So I just say OK. All right. Now, that was an example of using the visual. Now, it's just a little bit different. If we turn off the visual in the settings, we won't have to stare at that screen. It's just scan it and keep going. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you real quick. I'm just going to hit menu here and I'm going to um, exit to the main menu. And I'm going to um, at this moment, I need to do a few things. So I'm going to go set the settings, show you where those are. If you don't want to see that visual, go into settings and then come down here all the way into the 50s here. And you'll see here, you could turn that visual confirmation off. So you would really truly be moving into the one scan and done. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm set that to so one scan and done. Another thing I need to do, because we're going to repick the, the same orders, I'm going to go in here and delete those packs um, so that uh, you guys can see, uh, see that work. All right, so I'm going to go uh, remove some operations here. You guys didn't know you could do that? Just watch. All right, so I'm removing the um, two of those scans. Uh, let me get one more here. So I'm just going to do this. And again, I'm only doing this so I can show you what it looks like if we turn that setting to none. All right, so let's go back in. Let's imagine we just had that setting on to begin with. We're going to do pick and pack, and we're going to go to packing. Scan packed orders. Okay, now we've turned that setting to all we ought to do is scan one and done. So I'm going to scan one of the orders. Now this time you notice it didn't give me a confirmation screen. It just says pack the order, scan pack number two. Let's grab another one. So I just scan it. All right, and we're out of there. All right, and then we're going to scan the last one, and we're out of there. We just packed three orders, one scan, and done. Enjoy that.